Uh, oh no, our head fell off. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandy Morris. I'm a pole vaulter, and using Legos, I'm going to explain the pole vault. So the first thing you need in the pole vault is something to land on. This looks soft enough. Looking for something to make what we call the box, which is where the end of the pole goes in the ground before you bend it and jump into the air. So even though it doesn't exactly look like a box in real life, we'll call this the box. Okay, and then another element you need in the pole vault is you need the standards, which is the thing that holds the bar that you jump over. So, oh look, that's perfect. Okay, so we've got the standards here. So we're gonna call this the crossbar. All right, so you've got the pit that you land on, you've got the crossbar that you jump over, you've got the box that the end of the pole goes in in order to jump into the air. Um, oh, you need a runway. All right, the last thing you need, this is most important, you need a pole vault. And you need a pole. Well, her arm doesn't really go how I want it to. Oh, here we go, okay. She also needs her wig. That is very important. All right, our pole vaulter is ready to jump in the Olympic Games. Pole vaulter, runway, box, crossbar, pit. Here we go. Pole goes in the box. Arm goes up over her head, but her arm doesn't want to do that. Then goes over the bar. And then she lands on the mat, and she made the bar, and she's Olympic champion. Woo!